Uh, I'm Anna Vajmier, I'm the chair of this cost, uh, cost uh, action uh, dedicated to, as you know, we all know middle class mass housing in Europe. And uh, my, our, my, our uh, vice leader is Gaia Caramolino. So Gaia is here. Uh, maybe we can start by introducing uh, our, our cost a little. So we are a group of researchers. We are just dealing with this idea of housing for the middle class and most of that of mass housing for the middle class. And we studied in different levels, this kind of new neighborhoods who started to spread in the European cities, in the big European cities after the fifties with so many difference among our countries. So Europe, it's really an interesting case because everything is so different. All the experience are so different. And we can say that because we lived uh, dictatorship until 74. So our, the beginning of the spread of our cities were quite different from other democratic countries and for sure for other uh, socialist uh, countries. So we welcome all, we are very happy to be here and we are very grateful to everybody to be here in the morning to start this session. We know that we are here not for us, but for listen our our guest, our first keynote speaker that we have very proud of having here with us. But before um, before introducing our first keynote speaker and uh, move for um, a lecture, we do we all expect uh, um, uh, a lot. We I just to try to. Uh, explain a little what we are going to do in these two days of work. It will be a very, very work days. And also I would like to, to thank to the people who are assistant here with us. So with Rui Raimundo, it's, it's our new um, grand holder manager. So welcome uh, Rui to this, our cost adventure here. Thank you. <laughs> and also to Bruno Vasconcelos from Dinamia Star in Isqueté in Lisbon. Uh, which also is helping us in all, supporting in all the uh, technical issues. Um, so we are all at home doing this. It's my first time uh, um, hosting a kind of an international meeting in home. So I'm so sorry if something happened that will be not <laughs> as predicted, but I will try to not to explain our, our program. So it is a very, very simple event. We divided me and, and Guy, and then Guy also will explain. Uh, we divided in two days. So the first day it's related with the working groups, more, more related with the working groups um, work with everything they have developed until now. Uh, the sessions will be sequential because we have members who belong to different working groups. So we really want them to be free to attend all the sessions that they want. So we started, of course, in the morning with our guests, uh, which we have a very short introduction here in our website. Please look out at our websites. We have always uh, something new and we have every day, every new calls and, and new um, events advertising here. So please look at our websites. Uh, but here, so we will start it. And then our first uh, meeting in the morning will be dedicated to the working group uh, one, uh, which is, of course, as you know, um, it's the leader is Ines um, Lima Rodrigues. And so we will start it. They, the, the leader and the vice leaders produced um, uh, um, an agenda for the day. So this will be uh, the, the, the different uh, presentations. And it will be during all, uh, all the morning until the lunch break. Uh, so here you can see everybody who is going to, to, to participate, to make some presentations. And in the end, uh, I expect that we will probably will produce some conclusions or some final comments or whatever. Uh, in the, after lunch, we'll have only one hour for lunch because our, our schedule is really uh, tough. So we will start with the working group two, which is uh, leaded by Els Van Oss. So she will be... Um, um, coordinating this meeting with her um, uh, vice um, uh, vice leader, which is Yanko. And so they will be here. So this is the organization, all the presentations, it's the same, then a coffee break, and we will have 
the second um, working group meeting with Uta uh, coordinating it. And in the end, uh, we hope, uh, well, we have only one hour for a kind of a round table. We saw that it would be very nice to end the day with all the conclusions still very uh, fresh in all, all our minds to all the conclusion debated in, uh, in, the, in a kind of a round table with all the, um, the leaders and the vice leaders coordinating that round table. And uh, the working group one proposed this, uh, this organization for the round table. So first the discussion of our uh, number two template, and then a proposal of a glossary, uh, mapping the research posters and the case studies that all the groups are involved and other issues that would be important to debate at this point. So um, this was a proposal for the working from the working group one, and everybody agreed that could be a good agenda for the last uh, work session in this very, very big day. So the second one, uh, we will have three um, parallel sessions. Uh, the idea is it was for our members uh, to present their own work. Uh, there are two places for presentation. Anyone feel comfortable, you know, just to present? To, we, we thought that it could be an article, could be a research project, could be some individual research or more collective research, everything that we feel that could be important and, and interesting to share with us. So don't forget that it is a network. So we are here mainly for sharing our research, our information, for, you know, for just to to, to, to make in, in, in future networks. So this is one of our mains is to, to produce future networks. So it's very, very important for us to share our, our own experience. And that's why we, we thought it could be interesting to dedicate the, the second morning only for the presentations of the, the, the cost members. So we'll have, um, there, there are of course, um, parallel sessions, as I said, so we have to choose which one you, you prefer to attend. But anyway, anyway, we'll have different, uh, different presentations, different kind of experience shared. We have teaching experience, uh, not only in, in the working group one, but also in the group, group working group two. We have uh, more, um, more deep uh, research, collective research, so we have a lot of different um, examples. We did this format in IFA, uh, in fa a face to face. And we know we we have so we miss a lot this face to face uh, meetings. Uh, we did it in IFA. It was I think it was important for us to 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 meet, but uh, I, I think it's important for us to continue to do this kind of uh, of events. You know, just sharing our 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 um, experience. Then we'll have the lunch break. So tomorrow we'll start a little late. So it will be 10 o'clock in the morning, don't forget. And we also have lunch a little uh, late before. And then we'll have more, uh, more uh, uh, internal, I can say that meeting. So we will start with the core group meeting, which is a, a more reserved uh, a group of people. So for the others could uh, rest a little uh, for the most important event of this event, I don't know, the most important meeting, which is the MC meeting. So that it's very, very important for everybody who belongs to the MC, meet, uh, MC uh, which is an SME member to be here in this meeting, uh, because here we really, uh, me and Guy, myself and Guy, we are going to present uh, everything we did during this year, uh, the problems that we had uh, regarding to this, uh, uh, and many, uh, this uh, health uh, situation. Uh, so we'll talk a little about our suggestions for the future. Uh, some people from the core group had already, we had already uh, had a, a meeting before to prepare this event where we shared our, our um, preoccupations and our, our, our own proposals uh, in, in order to accomplish the, 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 the mains, the, the most important mains of our, of our cost. We are, as you know, it's now it's very difficult to work as a cost because the idea of the cost is sharing experience face to face. So we should be being, we should be traveling, we should be together, we should be able to organize training schools, we should be able to support uh, people for, for, for attend conference or to present 
uh, papers or whatever, and every of these kind of, of, of activities are now um, closed in, in Europe. So we had some suggestions, even the cost association sent us some suggestions. We tried to adjust the suggestions to our own costs. So we had uh, more or less a month ago, we had um, a core group meeting in order to, to, to debate what could be possible to organize with all these uh, problems that we are facing now. Uh, and uh, in this meeting, in this last meeting tomorrow, uh, me and Gaia, we will present our suggestions and the suggestions of the core group. We will talk a little about the proposal that our members did and the events that we are going to, to, to do, I, I, I expect in the next month, because I didn't say the most important, because I always, I always, um, uh, um, I always forget the most important is that our our ground period was uh, um, postponed until October. So we have a few more months. So we should end it now in April. So in the next month, in the end of the next month, but we have uh, more several months to 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 put something together and and you know to in in, in order to 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 make some events and to to share more um, more experience in the in the next uh, six months um, and then we will close with uh, with Monica Lev it will be our, it's a pre-recorded a pre-recorded um, um, uh, presentation because of course Monique uh, it's it's French and we know that the French are very susceptible with their languages. So they, she only agree on speaking and presenting in, in French. So we pre-recorded and we will present it in with subtitles in English. <laughs> but uh, uh, I would like to be like Monique and uh, you know only present it in Portuguese, <laughs> but unfortunately the Portuguese academic <laughs> we we are not so 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 strong in the academic world to do this kind of statement. But anyway, we respect all the feelings and we all love Monique a lot. So we are very um, very happy to have her contribution in the hand. Um, with uh, she will be with us. Uh, also for any question or for, um, you know, if, if you want to address some question or make some comments or whatever, she will be with us. Um, and I'm sure she will answer in English. She only don't present in English. And, the, and, and then we will close and every, everybody will be <laughs> happy to, to, to disconnect from internet. So, uh, Gaia, uh, we have still time. Um, Gaia will add uh, something, I'm, I'm sure. Uh, I, I really, uh, just uh, last words to say that I'm really, really grateful to all uh, because I know everybody uh, has worked very hard uh, to, to maintain the cost. It's very difficult to maintain a cost when the idea is for us to be together and it's impossible to be together. Um, in the, the times we are living now. So everybody is working hard. Uh, I want, of course, to, 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 um, to say thank to, thanks to, to Rui Raimundo and to Bruno Vasconcelos, who make possible this, this to happen. And um, I just want to make some personal um, uh, thanks to, in the, in the beginning, I want to thank uh, Inês Lima Rodrigues, which is one of my partners here to Monica Pacheck, which is the grant holder representative here because I'm not uh, in the same university as the grant holder um, is now. So it's not the same institution. So uh, Monica is really a very, very important piece in all this, this organization. And also to Leonor Matos Silva, who is starting to, to be a member of the, of, uh, here of the cost and is helping me a lot. In, to, to make possible all this event. So uh, it is just only personal, uh, personal um, uh, things that I would like to address in public. And of course, uh, I would like to address uh, to Gaia Caramolino because without her, everything would be impossible. So now I'm, I'm, I'm um, uh, asking her to, to make, uh, to end this uh, welcome session and to introduce our, our dear guest. 
so Gaia. Thank you, Anna. Uh, uh, welcome to all uh, the participants, the member uh, of uh, the COST uh, network and all the external guests who are attending uh, the, the, the meeting and the conference. Uh, I think already Anna presented in a very detailed uh, way the two days programs. I would like just uh, to add maybe for the ones who are not uh, in the network, in the COST, uh, a few uh, remarks. Uh, first, uh, as Anna highlighted, that the cost uh, is a research network, is not a research program. So uh, we work uh, on with diverse perspectives in diverse uh, fields and with diverse competencies on the topics. And we had usually this uh, very important moment uh, that uh, our moment of exchange, internal exchange inside the meeting that are the, the, the these types of meetings. But uh, we wanted to integrate these uh, internal moments of exchange and discussion that usually are also aimed at updating about the teaching research activities developed uh, during the, the granted period with the, these two keynotes uh, lectures. Uh, and I wanted uh, just to highlight how we arrived to this online uh, meeting because we last uh, met in IFA 16, uh, 15, 16, uh, uh, months ago in presidency, we had our first uh, uh, meeting uh, and um, we had the, the idea to plan uh, uh, the second meeting in Milan. So with uh, the Italian group, uh, with Alessandra Como, who is uh, also another Menti member, and with all our colleagues, uh, Nicole De Tonio, Federico Zanfi and Filippo De Pieri, we tried uh, uh, with all our efforts uh, to organize this Milan meeting in October, but of course it was not uh, possible. Then we postponed it to February and again we had uh, to cancel it. So we decided to have uh, these uh, two days, uh, uh, very simple uh, online uh, meetings uh, organized uh, all together with the, the network, within the network cost uh, in order to propose again in October, hopefully, uh, this Milan meeting that we really imagine as a meeting uh, in presidency. Uh, so this was just uh, to explain uh, how we arrived to the, the program of this uh, um, two-day virtual meeting. And the second thing that I wanted just to say that uh, since the IFA meeting, we really wanted to invite Liliana and Monique as our keynote uh, lectures. So we tried uh, several times uh, and uh, probably one of the few advantages of this uh, online <laughs> virtual uh, uh, mode is that we were able uh, to have uh, uh, both of them for these uh, keynote conferences, the opening and the closing conferences of our meeting that are public events, uh, hoping to have them uh, again in presence in the next uh, years. Um, and then maybe the only technical comments that I can add is that uh, you see in the program, in the articulated version of the program, that many of the events are only uh, devoted, uh, closed events devoted to the cost members, uh, but is specified uh, when um, uh, the, 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 the session is open uh, to other participants. Because of course it's conceived really as an internal moment of exchange and update about uh, the, the work conducted over the, the, the granted uh, period. Um, I think that uh, we can uh, start maybe to introduce uh, Liliana. I want to just uh, a last thing to thank Nicole De Tony also because uh, she really coordinated the organization of these uh, two keynote lectures and supported me in the in the organization of the two talks.